In this video, I'll show you how to take a screenshot on your iPad Air 6th generation. Actually, there's four different ways on how this can be done. So let's get started. Press once at the same time on the power button and on the volume down button, like that. You're gonna hear a noise and the screenshot will be taken. You can do the same thing with the volume up and the power button. So if I keep press both at the same time briefly, like this, over here, another screenshot has been taken. And every time you take a screenshot, it will appear on this corner. And if you click on it, you'll be able to quickly resize it. Also add a note. Let's say you want to write something. You can choose over here a pen. If you have an Apple Pencil, obviously it will be better. You can write, circle something if you want to show some uh, uh, details to somebody. Or you can also scan for text and you see all the text will be highlighted. You can copy that text, you can even translate it, you can do many things. Once you're done, press the done button here and you'll be able to save this to the photo, save to files or do different things or even delete the screenshot if you didn't want it after all. You're not obligated to tap on this small icon that appears every time you take a screenshot. If you do not press on it, it will simply be saved into your photos. So if I go into my photos, Click on the top left corner here and select all albums. I'll have my recent here, all the screenshot I took over here. There's only one. So the other way to take a screenshot is to ask Siri. You don't need to press any buttons. Obviously, Siri needs to be enabled on your iPad if you want this feature to work. So if I say, hey, Siri, take a screenshot. Uh -huh. Here we go. It took a screenshot without me having to touch anything. To enable Siri, you just need to go into the settings here, select Siri and search on the left side and make sure that listen for is set to Hey Siri or Siri, you, you choose over here. Oops, I don't want it. There's nobody calling right now. Well, I know. And finally, the other way on how to take a screenshot is to have a special customized button to take screenshots. So you need to go into the settings once you're in the settings, select accessibility on the left side over here, accessibility, then choose touch, choose assistive touch, make sure this is turned on. And over here, you see, uh, I mean, you're going to have a button appearing that you can move anywhere on the screen. And this could be your screenshot button. It can also do many other things. Let me put it over here. And by the way, once you do not touch this button for a few seconds, it will fade out. So it's not interfering with your apps over here. Custom action. You can set what this button does. So if you single tap it, what will happen over here by default is bring you home. But you can set this to take a screenshot. You can also select double tap to take a screenshot or long press. It's up to you. Let me select over here. Screenshot over here. Screenshot. Go back and now every time I press this button, it will take a screenshot and no matter where I am on my iPad, I can do this many times. And you see they all pile up over here. If I go into my photos, they'll all appear into my album over here, my recent album. So thanks for watching. I hope my tutorial was helpful. If so, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.